In this video, I'll be showing you how to build this wonderful looking, awesome F4U Corsair fighter. This is based off an authentic World War II fighter and is probably as realistic as you're going to get for it. It took a lot of work designing this build and I think you guys will really like it. It has all the features including rockets, bombs, and machine guns in the wings. So I'll be doing multiple versions of this fighter. I'll show you how to build the one in the air, the one on the ground, and one with the wings folded up without missiles. And a clean version with no missiles. One in the air is actually pretty easy. You just take off the landing gear. Hope you guys like this build, so let's get started. The materials you'll be needing for this build are the following. Blue wool, stone brick stairs, or whatever stairs you want, as long as they mat uh, as long as you have a matching slab with them. Button, magenta wool, same deal as the stair. Glass, yellow wool, black wool, nether brick stairs, fence gate, fence, cobblestone slab, green wool, and a lever. That's pretty much all you're going to need. So let's get started. Layer 1, the landing gear. First, you just want to place one bl glass block down and do two on either side of it. These are all just holding blocks. We'll destroy them later. Then black wool on either side. And delete these two, but not the middle one. Then counting this middle one, go back seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then place another. another. Then delete all the glass blocks. Then you want to get your buttons and put them on either side of the wool. These simulate the axle. Then you want to put stone bricks slab there. Actually, no. Forgetting how to do this. Can't believe you want to put that there. Then with your blue wool, you want to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So once you're done, it should look something like this. With one block on the front, one block on the bottom, and a little right angle right there on each side. And these two should be on the very edge like that. And then for me, I'm going to put my Air Force symbol there. For you, you can just leave that blank blue or put whatever color wool you want there. Now on top of these landing gear, you want to do a square of three. So on either side, it's a three by three with the black wool, the tire, in the middle. I'm going to do the same on this one. Now, we want to grab our stone brick stairs put them on either side like that. These are simulating the gull wing part of the Corsair. Now we want to do one, one layer of three, another layer of three, another layer of three, then layer of two, then layer of two. Then when I go to the middle, I can put my Air Force symbol there, you can leave that blank. Same thing on the other side. Layer of three, layer of three, Layer of two, they, no, layer of three, no, so three, 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 then two, two. Same deal. I'll put that there. Oh, my texture pack, the chicken just pooped out a bullet. <laughs> totally what happens. Now you want to do six, not for these, you want to do one in front, starting one in front. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be hanging two behind and one in front. One, two, three, four, five, six. These should be... You get the picture just by looking. Look, I can't really describe it. Then from this, you want to pull this all the way forward to the front. So the tail to the front. Then I'm going to put my little Air Force symbol there. You can do whatever you want there. Now starting here, you want to do two, three, two, three. So in the top, it looks like that, kind of like an eye. Then you want to here do two. Then starting right there, you want to drag that one, two, three, four, five, six. So all the way to the front. Then you want to break these two. Create your nether brick stairs and place one there. Grab our lever, place two, then flip it back towards the seat so it looks like the little control stick. And put those on top so you can look in on your pilot. Then you want to put your yellow wool there. Now let's grab our fence and our fence gate. We want to put one fence on top, one fence on the bottom. Then since fence gates can only be placed on blocks, you want to put one block on either side to replace it on and place them on it. Then delete them. It'll stay how it is. Now put a button in the middle to act for the act the spinning axle on the engine propeller. And basically that's it if you want to do the clean version. 
that's it for your F4U, F4U Corsair. If you want to just stick to it, how it is. If you don't want no missiles or weapons. If you do want to add weapons, weapons, we'll move on to that now. So what you want to do is with your button, put two to the left of the stair and two to the right of the stair. These are the machine guns on the fighter. Then with your cobblestone slab, put one there and one there. So one in that button, one there. So there's one block in between. So one, cobble, one, cobble, one. Then put a stone brick slab behind each one. These are simulating little rockets that would be used on the Corsair and the fighter. They could be used for air-to-air -air combat or ground attack. These are the little engines on the back, the stone brick stairs. Now, with your green wool, place one stone brick stair there, one stone brick stair there. Now with your green wool, do two, two. Now a button in front of those. These are simulating bombs that the Corsair would drop. And that's basically it for your for a fixed wing Corsair. Now we'll move on to doing the bent wing. Well actually, no it's not the bent wing. It's the wings folded up. These wings can fold up to be stored in an aircraft carrier. So let's move on to that. This part's actually really simple. You can do this if you want your course to be stored on, a sh on an aircraft carrier or just parked on a runway. If you want it parked on like a runway on an airport or something, just do that. So what we're doing right now is let's say this is our wing. We're going to knock off everything except these three. So get rid of all that. So the end. So your wing kind of looks like that. And you can keep the machine guns on it. On it, I personally don't like it. I don't think it looks good. So this is what you should have. Now, with your blue wool, you want to do so one up to the side like that. Do three. I'm going to put my magenta wool there. Do three like that. Then you want to do curving back in another three. So it's forming kind of a C. Then you want to do the same thing, still curving in a two then another two. So eventually this, these two, over these two blocks. And then you want to do the same on the other side. Let's do three. My magenta wool. Then three curving in, two curving in, two curving in. And that's kind of it for your fighter. If you want to put this in the air, do the following. Just del delete those, put the stone bricks put two slabs there instead of having a stair <laughs> there and that would be black wool but instead of having that you want to put it up like that if you want to put this landing on a carrier you want to add that to simulate a tail hook and then you'd have the wheels there but if you want it flying you would not have any wheels there and instead of having the wings bent you would have them straight you'd have the wings like that. Not, don't, don't put your Corsair in the air like this. That would look horrible. I don't think you could even fly in real life like that. You want wings flat. On either side, which I'll quickly do, just to give you a look on how that looks. Well, actually, we can just... See, that's how you make it in a flying position. Again, if you want on the carrier, you just build a little tail hook, so one more slab right here under that. But, this is kind of how it looks flying with weapons on it. I think it looks pretty boss. You could even, if you want to, put one of these rockets a little far forward. It's like a cobweb, cobweb trail. Find it coming back here. If you really wanted this to look good and realistic, I can't really do it in my texture pack, but if you're in using no, no texture pack, get a cobweb and put it at the front and then two on the side and then pull it back for a little bit. doesn't matter how long, just about that long. And it looks like it's creating like a draft through the wind and have that in either wing and then like little small ones like on those and one on the top and ends up looking really awesome <clears throat> maybe not put some on those yeah don't put some on those just there there and there ends up looking really awesome if you're in vanilla minecraft and like your planes actually flying so if you're creating a map or something i suggest to do that and that about sums it up for my Corsair tutorial. Hope you guys hope you guys liked it. And if you want to, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.